He was putting in studio mode. Okay. G2 Army XD lol. That's this is Korea. Oh yeah. All right. So actually, people were asking about our NA power rankings, and we actually just finished them. Uh, I'm gonna win because that's how it works around here. I'm gonna get a lot of people upset with me because that's how this works around here. Question marks. A lot of you guys aren't gonna like me, but yeah. Okay, so Korea week one, day two, has some pretty spicy matches. You got the good old case KT roller coaster versus Hanawa Life Esports. Then you got King Zone Dragon X versus Griffin. I think this is one of the better matchups for the first week for a lot of the major regions coming up. Because I think some of the major regions are gonna have like weaker first opening games at least beside um uh the lpl but this was not too bad actually this is way better than day one of korea you got kt and hanawa life which is not that bad actually i actually really like, like that um i matchup think to start out for K at least kt like for them to build like synergy and stuff like that and uh i think they could do it against someone like hanawa who have what um Showan, Thal, Mujin, Banjo. I think they have a few strong players on Hanawa Life, and they're pretty volatile again. That's pretty much what they've always been known for. I think they have a strong Soan in top lane is fine, a good, but I think that Thal might be starting. I'm not too sure about this one. Um, Thal, obviously, you remember from SKT. I don't think he was that bad, actually. I think he was one of the better, like, he was one of the better jungle, I mean, top laners. I think he was a jungler would be bad. I know, but would it's like I mean, obviously in comparison to not in the in the league. Obviously, I'm not saying he's one of the better top players in the league, but he was obviously the best one on the team. I think that him versus um, uh, I, he he wasn't bad, best, better than Bang though. Bang's not a top player, so I don't care. Cool, but we're all into make it, yeah. But int. So Thal Thal, I actually think is not a bad pickup for this team. I think he was kind of underrepresented on the SKT team. I think it was just a little too much on in terms of the. Like, his kind of play style doesn't fit in, it mesh well into the uh, the SKT play style. So, I was, I'm really kind of excited to see what he can bring to the table. Mujin is going to be a starter. I'm not even going to think about Bono. I don't know who he is, but he's not starting Bono over Mujin. Bono. Yes. So, the mid lane, I'm I'm hoping it's Lava starting. I mean, like, I, I Temp is kind of cool. Temp? He was on BBQ, wasn't he? I don't want him to start. I mean, <laughs> I like Lava. I mean, Temp's... I think Lava's actually not that bad. I, I don't... Like not I bad. honestly I think don't... his strongest pick is Orianna. I haven't really seen him shine on anything else. So, realistically, the bot lane of Sang Young and Kia is going to be... I think it's going to be pretty decent. I think both of them are pretty pretty good players, but not great to an extent. I mean, Kia can have amazing moments, but too inconsistent. And Sang Young's just a pretty average ADC. And you have Kia... I mean... I think he's going to be a deciding factor as to a reason why as to a reason why Hanawa Life wouldn't win the series. I feel like he's going to try and feel like he has to prove himself on day one and then like fall flat on his face. I'm going to imagine that doesn't happen. <laughs> like I feel like he's going to play a player Khan and then not ult mm. anybody. And then we'll talk about we'll talk about KT. We KT. Pretty, yeah. Ooh. Eh. Smeb, Smeb is going to beat anybody they bring in the top lane you, out of so, so Juan and Thal. There's the, neither one of them can take him on. I'm pretty sure they're going to play Umti for this series, to be honest. I think they're sitting out Score for a little bit, getting Umti ready for when he eventually takes over the team in next year, because Score has to go to his military service, from my knowledge. I don't know if that's still a thing, but that was what kind of got like represented, what everybody was talking about during the offseason. Unless they win the uh, Asia games, apparently, that's a thing. I don't know. I, I heard that was. I don't. I, I don't see a reason why they have to do mandatory military service. I just don't see the reason why. I don't know anything about um, other countries' military service stuff, but yeah. Like, 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 it's forgiven had had that issue too. Like, forgiven's in the military right now, but uh, this is an interesting opening week because you have, like KT. I don't feel like they have anything to prove. I think this series is just them just building synergy and finding out what they like to play on stage. So because BDD is really good. Yes. So and I, he can beat lava. Ganjo might be a problem. Like so they might might be a problem to Hana. Wolai. The problem is that I don't know who's starting on the ADC position because they both they all they both played during the uh, Kespa Cup. the Kespa Cup. So Zenit Zet Zenit, I don't know how to pronounce Zenit. Any. Zenit that is actually probably the proper way. And Snowflower is an absolutely great support. I'm really excited for him. But the the bot lane are both two unproven players that I'm a little bit sad that they had to grab in comparison to keeping depth. This would have been a good team with Deft on it. Yeah, but I feel like Deft left a little bit too quick. They would have had like a super team or something. Again. Maybe. XD. 
Okay, so Z- Ganjo, Zenit, they're, I don't think they're, they're going to be the obvious weak links of this team, but a lot of, they have a lot of potential coming up. They're really both new, kind of kind of new to the scene. Ganjo has been around for a little bit. Japanese League and Zenit, I mean, obviously he's been playing too long. Um, Snowflower, Umti, BDD. Snowflower got, I think Snowflower came in with the free, so far came in with Reb- Rebels Anarchy, who was a freak of freaks later on. Yes. Then he went to TCL. I think him being in the TCL made him better, because I feel like he was too new at that current point in time to know how the LCK runs. I feel like he's gotten way much better since then, and I feel like now he can be one of the top supports in Korea. But, KT... I like I said in the power rankings that, that we did, I think that they are literally just outside of top two, based off like how weaker their bot side is compared to everybody else. I think it's just because I believe in Griffin too much. Maybe I think that Griffin is an obvious. They can only be beat by SKT. I want to imagine that, but we'll see what happens in the region. I'm mean, in in during the regular season, but for now, I mean, I can't imagine anybody else beating Griffin besides SKT. So who do you have predictions for KT Rolster and Holland? Like? I'm gonna say a two two zero. I think it. I I think Hanawa's life is good, and I think they're going to be a definite not bot, bot, uh, bottom in the half league type of team. But again, I don't think they're in comparison really to the top half team, which is KT's probably third best in the league. So I really don't think they're going to even take a game off them. It could happen. I mean, they're very competent enough. They have some strong laners, and they could take over a game if they if KT makes a mistake. But for the most part, I don't see that happening. I'm saying two zero, KT roster. Yeah. I don't like. I want to say KT lose a game. But that might be because they switch out somebody, and that person doesn't like understand the way the team's playing at that moment. But even if that that were true, that that player is probably still better than what you're bringing in. So, mm-hmm. yep, KT, you are going to be KT roller coastering all over this. Please series. just say the next game. <laughs> God, jokes. All right, uh, you got Big Daddy Griffin coming in, not being rookies anymore. They are now full fledged veterans, been here for five years. Griffin, Peter Griffin. Because uh, to say another joke now? Is that what's going my on? My jokes are amazing. Peter uh, Griffin playing up against Kingzone Dragon X. Ooh. How the mighty have fallen, right? Okay, so... Oh, man. Uh, if this is not, like, over in, like, 20 minutes between both games, I don't even see a reason why to watch the, I mean, this game I like, specifically. I mean, I like Kingzone's team, and I think they have potential maybe later on. But as it stands right now, Griffin's just been along around for too long. Kingzone hasn't. I think they're going to have to mesh well later on in the seri- the season. Rascal. They got Nahum. Rascal's game. not incredible. I mean, Cuz is pretty decent. I mean, this is like a better version of like Smithy. They're they're lit- like the most competent players, and probably the two only competent players on this team are going to come out of Deft and Tucson in the bot lane. I really don't. I was going to say Deft Pawn and Tucson. I want to say Pawn, but again, I think Pawn's just average if anything. So I think it's going to be Deft and Tucson. I love Pawn. I hope he comes back to form. It's just my dream at this point, but it's probably not going to happen. Like. I feel like if Deft and Tucson don't magically get like five zero in lane, they're probably not gonna win. They're they could do it against a few of these. Actually, no, there's not many weak lanes, bot lanes anymore. I don't know if they can. I don't. I. It's really I. I couldn't even make a an argument as reason why Griffin could lose to them. Griffin just instant trolls around Baron or something like that. Like, what do Kings don't have? Like sword. Uh, arguably their weakest players on Griffin aren't even weak. They're just, like, not as... They don't have... They're, they're not, like, as flashy as the other players are. Like, like Sword... I, I, I think people, like, really um, underrate Layhands. I think he's really good. And I think he's not a weak point of the team. Ever, anybody watched the Demacia Cup against... Uh, who were they... When, the, when they just completely, absolutely decimated... Uh, who was it? Uh, Dowon Gaming. It was... It was comp- it, I, I would put, like, 90% of this... The, the, well, you know, I won't put ninety percent, obviously, because they all pop up. Eighty-two point. I'll put like I'll put like most of the credit. I want to give it to Layhens. Seventy-five ninety-nine. Because Layhens absolutely made incredible plays during pretty much the entire series, and I feel like he's pretty much the reason as to why they got so substantially far ahead early. I feel on. like Layhens is not their. Pro- I feel like their problem, if, if anything, moving later in their in their career is I think Sword. I would no Sword's incredible. I, I think Sword could have a problem like not being uh, flexible. I don't know if that's a case. I, we haven't seen him have to really struggle with that yet, but it could. I don't think so. I, I feel don't... like Sword could be exploited at a certain point. Like I, I feel like he's good, but I don't feel like he's an elite yet. I think he is. I feel like I'm Tarzan's a... elite. Chovy is potentially about to be elite. I'd actually have to disagree. I think that Sword and Tarzan are the best players on this team by far. I think Chovy's still pretty good too. He's not. I don't think he's to their level though. I think that Chovy's decent. That's where th- Chovy's seventeen. He can only grow from this point though. Well, he's, physically and game wise. 
Okay. Okay, so I think that it's going to be Sword and Tarzan going to be the best players on this team. I think that Vi I don't really think there's a weakness of this team. I'm going to be honest. Because their weakness, their weakness last year was aggression, and they weren't smart with it. Now they've gotten smarter, and they can play aggressive. So I, you have a much smarter team who's playing their style. Uh, Kingzone, you're losing 2-0. Sorry, Kingzone. You, you're losing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say 2-0 for me, too. Oh, God. Like, this that's is, pretty much it? Like... What else can we say about Kingston? Like, what if they switch out Nathan for Pawn in one of the games to try that out? I would cry. <laughs> I would actually not be happy with this. I think that Nathan, if they're, well, let me see what Nathan looks like. I want to see what his fi physical features. No, <laughs> like he, he's I don't, not... <laughs> I don't understand. Like he's not intimidating people into making putting him on the team. It's not what it is. Like the fact that he is like zero and seventeen. He held someone at gunpoint on King Zone. I feel like that. There's something happened. There's some reason that he's on this team. He, that, there's he, there, you don't look at this and be like, we should probably go through the entirety of the worst mid laners in existence and <laughs> grab him at it. I'll give it. I'll give him some credit. He has had some good games, and I feel like some of his losses Those weren't his. Some fault. games are very few in between. Very few good ones. He is not like. I don't know. I don't see. A I don't think he was the he was the best player on Origin. I feel like play. they might have just picked him up to kind of insult Pawn itself to say, "Hey, this, we're willing to replace you with this man," <laughs> just because of how badly you played last year. And that's trying to they're trying to kickstart his attitude. And I really hope that's the case. I feel like they they would never replace Pawn for Nahum, even if Pawn was sucking. Okay. I don't know. Would there but, be a reason to? Unless Nahum... What if Nahum comes out and he's like another another nuclear? He just completely reinvigorates himself. Nuclear wasn't even that bad though. I don't. Uh, he was. He was actually that bad. But he was. He was decent at points. I'm really trying to say nice things about nuclear. He was pretty bad for most of his early career. But he I, has. But he's Nahu now. Yeah. Nahu's like they, they. They both have to have like. Well, they're in. And they're okay. In. So is there any other games for that day? Uh, nope. That's pretty much. He was really excited about this, and I thought there was gonna be like SKT versus Griffin. Wow. Or something. I thought something <laughs> incredible was going on. It wasn't. But that's pretty much it. Um. Now, if King Zone Two Zero's KT Rolster, we're gonna be like. If that happens, then that's actually what I was gonna say, but I something I don't know. I, I, I was like literally just gonna go outside and get a girlfriend, but it turns out I live. What here. are you even saying? No, goodbye. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> XD.